welcome back to my channel. I am like, this is my second cup of coffee. I'm on it. I'm also like kind of excited that the sun is actually out for the past few days. It's been very rainy and very gray. And I actually like the rain. I like rainy, gloomy, dark, moody weather. Part of my Today's video is another Let's Get Dressed. Um, I just decided that that's just gonna be the name of this series. I've been really like into the idea of like, how do I want to phrase it? Like brunch? It's like four in the afternoon. I just pass brunch time. But I've been feeling like the vibe of like, dark, edgy, classy, black, the idea of like a blazer. We're gonna do like a blazer outfit, I think, today. I really wanna wear a blazer. Um, you know, like dressier pants paired with like maybe like chains on the neckline, things like that. I think that would be really cool. So because the outfit itself is gonna be very like classy vibe, I'm gonna go very like classy, but like dark on the eyes, I think. My hair is in the hair turban, as you saw last week. Um, and that's because I wash my hair every week. Um, I, I think I went over like my wash day routine and everything with y'all, but it's currently in there doing its thing. My skin has my morning routine products on it. So we're gonna start on makeup uh, of what I'm gonna be doing today. So again, this is not a tutorial. I'm going to speed through all what I'm going to be doing, but I'm gonna link everything I'm using down below in the description bar so if you have any questions about what I'm using on my eyes my face anything like that it will be linked in the description bar below We're back in my bathroom. So my makeup is done. It's a little bit more like red berry toned than I think I was really intending to go. I've got bronzer, foundation all around the rim of my hair towel because that's who I am. I have ideas for in my head of already like outfits already. So unlike the last video in this um, series, I knew what kind of makeup I wanted to do. I didn't know what makeup I wanted to do. I knew an outfit. Like I have an outfit already set up in my bed. And like last video in this series, I am gonna do three, <laughs> girl, three. I'm gonna do three outfits um, with this look as well. So to kind of give like different ideas in the same sort of vibe. First, I'm gonna be using my go-to leave-in conditioner. This is the Carol Daughter Goddess Strength and Link. Uh, leave in cream, you already know. Because I'm just doing like a wash and go type of thing, I'm going to very messily put in product, and that's because like my hair is going to air, it's already kind of air dried, and I'm not super like I like the idea of defined curls, but with like how my hair naturally is, I just am never really going to achieve that in a wash and go, so it doesn't matter if like. I put it through like section by section, it's gonna turn out as exactly the same. It is the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. This is really good, like really, really good. I like this, I've been using it for years. Um, I, I don't know if I would call it like a styler, it just more than anything kind of like, I don't know, makes my hair look nice. I really don't know how to describe it. I'm just gonna take some. 
on both hands and I'm just gonna mush it through my hair and hope for the best. <laughs> Last step I'm gonna do is, this is the Shea Moisture Coconut Hibiscus Frizz Free Curl Mousse. This is the second bottle I've actually bought of this. I do like this. I find it has a very light hold. I think it's best for like wash and goes, uh, like simple day to day, like if I'm doing like, you know, like a twist, like not flat twisting, just like twisting my hair down. Um, it's good for that kind of hold. It's not gonna like be anything like any gel. Right? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the front portion of my hair and I'm going to twist it down. <laughs> To, like right above my ear. Get me two body pins. Boom. I'm gonna body pin it though. My hair. So the next time you know, flip on, you're gonna see me in my closet again. Let's go. Hi. So we are back in my closet again. So here it is. Hope you like it. Very monochromatic. You can clearly tell that I only wear one color, um, except for like certain patterns, like stripes. A random green sweater. That is actually from my high school. I keep thinking about if I want to crop it, but then I'm like, I already don't wear it that often. But like nostalgia is attached to it to the extent where I'm like, we can't ever get rid of this. I might as well be buried with it. Whatever. Make three outfits that kind of go into the same sort of vibe of what I was kind of referencing of like dark edgy classy like a like a grown-up lady who goes to brunch with her friends and i want to do like a blazer outfit i already have an outfit that i've got formed on the bed i'm actually going to show it to you really quick sequined tank top um i got this from shein can i link things down below we'll try um this black sequined tank top i got this from shein and then these houndstooth print dress pants that I've actually altered to fit me high-waisted. Pointed toes, stiletto heels. I got these from Just Fab and I'm gonna wear this. So this is outfit number one. As I said, I wanted to do a blazer. I have two different blazers. Um, you could probably assume I don't wear them very often, especially now since I am working from home. I do still get dressed and I still like put makeup on and do my hair and all of that as if I was actually going somewhere even though I'm not. But I have two different blazers and they fit differently. This one is more like a casual fit. It's like three, four quarter sleeve. It fits me a little bit longer on the like hem, like the long hemmer hemline. It hits me right about maybe about my hips. I'm gonna go with this like thrifted express shirt, kind of like a t-shirt blazer, and then this sparkly so uh, silver and black mini skirt. That'll be outfit number two. Soft rounded pointed toe heels they're similar to the other ones but they have like an ankle strap i got these second hand from a family member of mine that me and her wear the same shoe size i think brunch i also think slightly like possibly hung over from the night before so let's do like a more less put together kind of outfit and more something like slouchy something like i rolled out of bed y'all just saw me at like 2 a.m this morning let me just throw something on. So this pair, I feel like I've been wearing this pair of like faux leather pants every single chance I get. I've recently thrifted these. They're really cute all the way at the bottom. They've got this like lace up design. I'm super into it. So I think fancy faux leather pants, kind of a slouchy cardigan on top of that because why not? And it kind of break up the color scheme just a little bit so it's got a little bit of texture. We're gonna go with a super slouchy oversized like gray cardigan. That would still be really cute. Let's throw on some docks. Yeah. Anyway, so that's pretty much my video. Thanks for coming and watching this video. Uh, if you had a good time and you enjoyed this series, thank you so much for coming and watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you liked the outfits. Comment down below which one was your favorite. Um, let me know any tips or tricks that you have about getting dressed um, or anything like that. If you enjoyed this video, please do be sure to give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more content like this. Uh, I do a lot of like fashion, beauty, types of videos um, 
that's what my channel is mostly anyway and if you want to see more content from me feel free to give me a follow over on my instagram i actually post regularly every single day on my instagram and my handle is at ugh u-g-h dot k-e-r-i-a um feel free to follow me over on tumblr that'll be linked down below as well and on tumblr i post like outtake photos uh cool pictures that kind of align with my aesthetic as well and I just enjoy being on Tumblr. Tumblr is really fun. Um, if you want to see my Pinterest recipes and cooking, different things that are inspiring me at the moment, feel free to give me a follow down below there and if you ever want to shop my closet to see what items I'm getting rid of, um, follow me over on my Depop to ever see any items up on there. That'll also be linked in the description bar below. Um, again, all of the items on my face that I used for getting ready today will also be linked down below. I hope to see you on the internet sometime soon. Um, and in the meantime, 